people call him the Viking. Professional fighter Justin Wren, one of the youngest athletes in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The UFC is the largest mixed martial arts organization in the world. And Justin was a leading contestant in the 2009 season of the reality show, The Ultimate Fighter. But the man who had become a fierce warrior was nothing like the awkward and shy teenager he once was. Classmates made fun of Justin and harassed him. At times, it got physical. I just remember every part of me feeling like it was broken and crushed. That I wasn't good enough, that I was worthless. I always wanted to be someone different at that age. He was afraid to stand up to the bullies until he discovered the TV show, The Ultimate Fighter. They were big, they were strong, they were Olympic wrestlers, they were Olympic boxers. In that moment I found this is how I will learn to stick up for myself, to fight back. In high school, he joined the wrestling team hoping it would build his self-esteem and put an end to the bullying. He grew bigger and stronger and won the National Wrestling Championship. The bullying stopped, but it didn't improve his self-esteem. Instead, he felt worse and was diagnosed with depression. Justin started drinking and smoking marijuana to battle the sadness. I just always remember fighting depression, fighting sadness and anger all at the same time, like these two warring emotions of me being angry that I'm sad and me being sad because I'm angry and just not being fulfilled. Like that's all I wanted was whatever was, whatever this hole in my heart was, it had to be fulfilled. After high school, Justin achieved his dream of becoming a professional fighter when he earned a spot with the UFC. His career soared and he quickly became a fan favorite. But Justin never conquered his battle with depression. The drinking got heavier and the drugs got stronger. It didn't matter how many people screamed my name or came to watch me fight or asked for my autograph or took my pictures, I felt all alone. I did such a good job at hiding my depression that absolutely nobody knew. From reporters saying he's the next big thing to my parents being so proud of me. Nobody in this world knew how, how worthless I felt. But Justin was losing his ability to hide his addiction. He started skipping training camp, and his extreme drug use caused him to black out for days. One day, he woke up from a stupor and checked his voicemail. His best friend had left him a message. He said, I can't believe you missed my wedding. I can't believe you missed being my best man. And I remember feeling nauseous. I remember just thinking, I am such a screw up that I love this guy and I hurt him deeply. Then days later, he was kicked off the ultimate fighter for skipping practice and suspicion of drug use. When his mom found out, she went to his house and discovered large amounts of drugs and Justin living in filth. His mom called an old friend of Justin's that she knew had become a pastor. Pastor Jeff invited Justin to a Christian men's retreat. Jeff used these few words. Bro, I'm telling you, real people with real problems really need real answers from a very real God. And he goes, bro, I promise you he's real. Jeff convinced Justin to come and even paid for his flight to Texas. I was surrounded by men that absolutely loved God, which freaked me out because I never met people that I actually, I felt really did love God. Jeff started speaking my language. Bro, you can't win this fight alone. He's the ultimate fighter. Jesus went on the cross. He died for your sins, but bro, that's not it. That's not where the story ends. He was buried in the grave and three days later he arose. He defeated it all for you. And all you have to do is submit. All you have to do is tap out. And to me, that was crazy because tapping out means giving up. It means surrendering. You're telling me I'm gonna win you're telling me I'm going to win whenever I surrender, whenever I wave the white flag, when I give, give up. He goes, bro, I promise you, this is the one time that whenever you give everything up, when you give your life over, when you say, I can't do this without you, God, 
I have to have a relationship with you, Jesus. He said, I promise you, you're gonna be given the greatest victory you've ever won. Justin prayed to accept Jesus as his savior. And I just remember giving my life to Christ, praying, just saying, God, I cannot do this without you. I am jacked up and I can't save myself and I need you. And my heart was finally at rest. And I finally had not a happiness that was temporary, but a joy that I knew was there to stay. That worthlessness was taken away and worth and value and who God is, who Jesus is, and who he made me to be uh, was instantly put there. That Jesus set me free spiritually, set me free emotionally, and set me free physically from those drugs. It was all God. I gave my life to Christ, I submitted, I tapped out, and instantly, I promise, I was given the greatest victory I've ever won.